Anthony Joshua versus Daniel Dubois could break Wembley attendance record. The big fight between two world boxing giants, Anthony Joshua versus Daniel Dubois, will be the main highlight at Wembley Stadium, England, on September 21, 2024. This duel is not only a proving ground for both boxers, but also carries the ambitious mission of Turki Alal Sheik, the figure behind Riyadh season, who is trying to set a record for the largest audience in boxing history at the iconic stadium. Turki Alal Sheik, who is known to be active in facilitating big boxing matches, announced via social media that Riyadh season has submitted a request to expand the capacity of Wembley Stadium, specifically for the Joshua vs. Dubois fight. This request was driven by the high demand for tickets from boxing fans who want to watch the prestigious fight live. Due to the high demand from fans, we have requested to expand the capacity of Wembley Stadium for the highly anticipated fight between Joshua and Dubois on the Nadra Riyadh season card Wembley edition. We hope to set a record audience in boxing history at Wembley Stadium, said Turkey in his post. The current record for the largest attendance at Wembley Stadium is held by the heavyweight fight between Tyson Fury and Dillian White in April 2022, with an attendance of 94,000. The fight ended with Fury knocking White out in the sixth round. In addition to the main event between Joshua and Dubois, the evening will also feature a fight between World Boxing Council silver middleweight champion Hamza Shiraz, who will defend his title against European champion Tyler Denny. This fight will further enhance the appeal of the event and has the potential to attract even more viewers. With a bold move from Turkey Alalshik and the support of Riyadh's season, the Joshua vs. Dubois fight has the potential to be a historic moment in the world of boxing not only in terms of the quality of the fight, but also in terms of the number of spectators in attendance. Wembley Stadium is set to witness a new record that will likely stand for a long time in the world of sport. Francis Ngannou KO'd by Anthony Joshua. I don't want to leave boxing. Francis Ngannou KO. Anthony Joshua did not make him give up. Francis Ngannou insists he will not quit boxing just because he lost by KO to Anthony Joshua. For most people, the blow Francis Ngannou received right in the jaw from Anthony Joshua's right punch last March would be enough to make them never return to boxing. However, Francis Ngannou, a mixed martial artist and former UFC heavyweight champion, is not an ordinary person. It's Tyson's 22 wins to date, 13 inside the first three minutes. And he's adding the jab maybe to his armory now. We didn't see that in his, some, some of his earlier fights. But he's still got... Forged by adversity, both in his early and more recent career, Ngannou has a different body than most and is therefore able to fight anyone, both in the MMA arena and in the boxing ring. On October 19th, Nganu will make his much anticipated return to MMA in a heavyweight bout against Renan Ferreira. However, despite returning to a familiar arena, he insists that his latest move will not be the end of his boxing journey. I'm not going back to MMA. I never left MMA. That's the confusion, he said. Before he lost to Joshua in spectacular fashion, Ngannou shocked the boxing world with a stunning performance in a 10-round decision loss to Tyson Fury in October. Not only did he take Fury to the hilt that night, only losing by split decision, but he also dropped the former heavyweight champion with a hook in the third round.
Of course, the dramatic nature of the moment and the courage he displayed throughout 10 rounds against a man who was expected to take him for a ride has many, even boxing fans, urging the Cameroonian to continue practicing his noble art and fight Joshua in a second fight. Now we're in August, and it remains to be seen whether Nganu will stick to his word and return to the ring in the future. What is certain is that if he didn't know the difference between the two sports before fighting Joshua, Francis Nganu, who is 0-2 as a boxer, now does. Mayweather Furious throws referee out of ring during fight against John Gotti III. Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s rampage kicks referee out of ring during fight with John Gotti III. Floyd Mayweather Jr. demanded the referee be replaced during his fight with John Gotti III, which once again ended in a farce. Last summer, Mayweather's fight with the grandson of notorious New York crime boss John Gotti ended in a heated brawl. John Gotti III was disqualified for swearing before a brawl broke out in the ring, leading to a rematch that had been in the making for more than 12 months. And after just two rounds of the rematch in Mexico, it looked like it was going to end in the same way. Mayweather, 47, landed a legitimate looking hook on Gotti, 31, but the referee had to step in and rule it invalid. A scuffle ensued in the ring with so-called billionaire boxing icon Mayweather looking furious and seemingly lashing out at the official, demanding he step aside so he could continue. Both corners then got involved from both sides of the ring as a case of deja vu threatened to ensue. The fight went eight rounds and was largely one-sided Mayweather peppering Gotti with right hooks to the head and body while landing lefts to the stomach. He showed glimpses of his classic defense and counterpunching, but it was a shadow of his former self. But three years shy of his 50th birthday, Mayweather showed his prowess with quick combinations and head movement. The boxing legend is an old friend of Gotti's father, a former Gambino crime family boss made famous by his feared father. Mayweather and Gotti III shared a post-fight hug before Mexican icon Julio Cesar Chavez, 62, entered the ring. Early on, that little twitch of the knees, that was definitely not a slip. How the ref separates them? 